Hey guys, are you looking for a way to help increase your overall income from Azoic? Then today's video is meant for you. We're going to go ahead and show how you can configure setup for video ads, how you can use it to dramatically increase your revenue from a source that's additional to the current ads you would already have on your site. <laughs> As you can see in my example, the average GPMV is $5.32 per thousand views. So for about an hour's worth of work, I can make an extra $5 per thousand views on my site that I never have to do again. Let's show you how. This is one of my sites that was about two and a half years old. I haven't ever come back to try and recover it. I was pretty bad at choosing everything and I didn't really get the results I wanted. Instead, I just moved on to bigger and better things. And this one's kind of just sat around and idled. But it does get pages. It was a good chance to show how you can turn around and use your own existing content that you can convert into video ads. And it will be able to pump up a little bit more income. This way, you can kind of maximize the performance of a site even when it's sitting and not growing. If it was $5 per thousand page views and you got 10,000 page views, that's $50 you could be making every single month, which is $600 in a year without any effort after this short building time to build out multiple videos. Inside Azoic, you'll go to the videos tab. And inside the videos tab, you'll have to say yes, you want to sign up for the uh, video platform. And then you'll get to this screen. If you, have an, if you have a YouTube account, you can import videos from your YouTube, but you have to own the videos. You can't just upload other people's videos and use them yourself. Inside here, you'll see any videos you upload will go into this section. Next is the placeholders. So these placeholders are very specific and they're different than the ad placeholders you place in your content. So you'll have to add a new video placeholder ad slot to your content. You can auto select videos. I don't worry about this part as much. I focus on building playlists. So when you have a placeholder, you can either assign it one video or you can assign it a playlist. So when you do this right, what you'll have is a playlist that's going to contain typically for me five videos as a starter that I'm going to link into the placeholder that's going to be specifically to run video ads. Now this can be longer, like if the average read time on your site is like 11 or 12 minutes on a page then you could technically run even more ads because the video size that I typically build and that I would say even Mediavine had used before their new player would be uh, 45 seconds to 60 seconds and you string those together. That way you're offering a value in the video itself but also allowing the pre-roll ad to play more consistently. The longer the video you run the less income you make based on the longer it runs. So if you have a five minute video and they sit for 10 minutes reading the content, then at best with two videos, you'd get two pre-roll ads and that would be it. You could in theory make more out of those two in all of my testing so far. The ads, you get the same income from the ads regardless of if I have six play or if I have two play and for a majority of people, somewhere around a six minute to 10 minute read time is where they'll average on most their posts. Some may be a little bit lower, some may be a little bit longer. So five is where I settled on for myself. And to build those five videos, I actually just used Lumen. Let's go jump into Lumen. So this is Lumen. When you have an account, you'll be able to just do a new video. So you just click on new video and it's going to start trying to put together the basics of where it, what you want it to look like. So I tend to try and pick different ones as I try and figure out what the audience likes and what's responsive. So most of the time I'll start with a colorful one, but I want the text to be fairly large. When they're shrunk down, they're a little bit smaller than this size in the corner down here. So bigger text reads easier when you're making something that's 99% of the time going to be running very small and compressed. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with this one. And then you're basically just want the 16 by nine ratio. 
I just need the small corner play. So you can choose any of them. Facebook's just the fastest because it's listed at the top. There is no difference between it and just generic 16 by 9 down below. Now, this is where it gets to be interesting. You have your choice of two ways to approach this. You can either build out your slides yourself, so just add them, come in here and grab them and put them in, or you can import directly from your blog article. If you want to do it fast and to get it in place, this is how I would suggest you do it. And just have it pull in your stuff and you can cut out the parts you want and use this time clock that's up here in the top right hand side to get yourself in that 45 to 60 second range. So we'll just jump over here to posts and we'll grab one on there. So we'll just put this in here and then you just click import and then you'll see it. It's going to start importing everything. It's going to basically dig through everything and look for what you have. I tend to remove this miscellaneous stuff. I don't want it to pull any of that part in, so I don't want to provide it. Once you have all this done, you just have to actually go down here, let you use the AI to select the best sentences check mark, and then just say convert. And now it's going to go through and it's going to pull what it thinks are the important parts out and convert them into a video for you. And there's two ways to approach this. You could just go with their defaults, which I've seen people do. Um, sometimes I don't like what it chose. And I'm going to go back through here and actually drag in different parts. You can go through here and see colors. I'm switching to what I feel is a more plant-oriented color scheme. Now you can see it's going to show you the title by default on slide one. You can preview it and it's going to play for you. And then it's going to have independent slides and you'll see right now that the default time came in at one minute and two seconds. Which for me, I'm okay with. I just trying to get a video on here and show you the process. But if you decided you wanted to add something, you could come over to your content here. You can be like, well, I like this one. You can hit plus and it's gonna insert where you're at and it's gonna pick out some stuff for you. So if you liked this, then you could keep it. If you wanted to, you can actually go into media inside Lumen and there's some free, free options which if you pay, you can pay for Marketplace and get some different better options. But there are a lot of free options in here, including videos along with pictures that you can use to fill in some of these sections to get you more aligned. I'm gonna delete that one back out. The same thing afterwards, you can choose, there's, there's other things like, like GIFs, you can upload stuff yourself. So if you have specific media you wanna use or stuff that's within your post already, then you can move over to music and they have plenty of options and you can search so you can just find what you're looking for you can choose a mood of what you're looking for specifically and then to select it you just click this it'll put a check mark and then that's the song that'll be played throughout the video itself so once this is all together i tend to name them generically until i'm done and through and then i'll rename them inside Ezoic. Now all you have to do is once you're happy with everything that's here, then like to cut these down sometimes I'll do there and get it to one minute. But this is how you can clean up some of this time. Normally on these ones you probably want to try and increase the size, but when they start to move outside that object now you've got to start playing with the color. Keep in mind that every time you start to make these changes then you've got to go back and you've got to see how they'll play out for you. And then once you're happy with everything, all you have to do is click publish. And it's gonna start building it, and then it's gonna give you the download to download as soon as it's completed. So you can sit here and watch and wait. It'll give you the download option when it comes up. It'll automatically download into your browser as long as you stay on this page once it's done. So we'll come back once it's complete. Now you'll see it's done, it's showing it, and it's starting to download it already. Now all you have to do is wait for it to finish downloading. And you're going to go ahead and I grab the copy of my post. This makes it really easy to align with your content when you put it inside Zoic. Now that that's done, I will go back over to the video tab and I'm going to say upload new video. Here you're going to click, you're going to choose your video and open and it's going to start uploading. The title I'll replace with the title of my 
blog post and then description you can put in what you want but I tend to come back afterwards and put together something that's more like a useful meta instead of just throwing in gibberish text. As to keywords, a lot of times I'll come in here, grab my title, go over to Google and just search for it. And then I'm going to look to see what these tools give me for this keyword in itself in the first place. So I mean, you can look at, see what it provides you and see what you think actually works. So like you could do, there you go. So when I'm grabbing these keywords and I'm putting them in here, there's one per line. So you can always put in anything you find is a useful keyword to get aligned with the content that you provide inside there. Don't just fill it full of keywords, but you can use it and get it to uh, two or three different ones. These ones are what you would technically rank this video for inside Google if there was video ranking possible or um, viable. Then you can choose a thumbnail. So you can choose from your video slides themselves or you can upload a thumbnail just like you would inside YouTube. After there, you can do all kinds of stuff for setup of the video. And then once done, you just click save. And you're gonna see it jump in here and that, that screenshot I chose of green just overplayed or overlaid itself. So now you need a placeholder. So I open one of my posts here and you'll see it loads. It's got all the content. There is no video ad running. So what people typically do in the first place is they think that they want to put the video right at the top. And you can, if it was more content specific, if it was about this specific content only and you weren't going to do a playlist of a lot of different videos, I would suggest that's not a bad idea necessarily. But in our case, what we want is for it to run as a video ad until they're to the end of the content. If they make it to the end of the content and it's still not done playing, then they could watch them there if they wanted to continue. So for in this point, you want to turn on Nozoic, the Chrome plugin. You can go to video and then you're going to want to activate placeholders. And then from there, you want to go to video and create and you're going to select a video location. For me, I always scroll down right before the last part of what I'm posting. So for me, typically there's a section that's like the comments that you know is going to be on every post that I would put it on. In this case, I'm going to select here, but I'm going to move this up and you're going to see it's inside the section container. Now I'm just going to move it to the bottom and you're going to see we're in the section container at the very bottom so I know it's going to show up in this same HTML element on every page because this section container is this entirety of the post and it's going to show up at the bottom so it's out of the way and then for here it's going to choose a width and a height that matches your content width I leave it this way so that if they make it to the end of the video it's going to look and fit in with your content itself inside here you can see that you want to change this to be on there but when you do that you need to make sure you select this first and you'll see if you don't select this then this option is actually grayed out and you can't select it so you've got to make sure you click apply to subdirectory and what this is just saying is that for this video placeholder I want every time this video placeholder exists across everything that's in a, any page that's a subdirectory of this so that means every post that you have every every page that you have that has this placeholder, you will get this video added to it. Then you can apply what you want to add to it. We're gonna wait because we wanna build a playlist. I don't wanna put a video in it. I wanna put the playlist in it. And then you always want it to auto start because you're putting it down towards the bottom of the page. Let it decide automatically who gets the floating player is what I tend to leave all the time. And then you can say save. 
and then what you'll see is the video placeholder is down here now. Come back into here. Now we want to make a playlist. So we're going to come down here and we're going to say add a video playlist. And for me, I always do something like this. And then if you only have one video or two videos, loop allows it to just continually play. So it'll play the first video, second video, and then when it reaches the end of the second, the second video, it'll go back to that first video again. So that there'll always be something playing, which is not a bad idea. I don't really like it if it's only one video just because it's like playing a short thing on a super loop. But once you have, you know, 10, 15, 20 different videos, then you could actually do shuffle and it's just going to choose at random what videos play. So that way the playlist will never be the same for even the same visitor coming to your site a second time. I'll leave mine on loop for now, but if you're going to build a whole bunch of videos, then shuffle is good so that they don't just play in a specific order. And then once you're here, you just click the plus and you can actually check mark every single one that you have. Say save. And now you've got your first playlist. So now you can scroll back up to your placeholder and you can go to the edit placeholder screen. And now you can actually choose the playlist for video ads instead. Default is just saying I want it to play in the order that I've put them inside that player. And then you'll see it didn't actually save what I put, so I do need to go put that, I want that back again. And in this case, it's just actually having a problem. Just put in the whole thing and then activate on the, the directory. And then you're gonna wanna hit save. It's gonna come back and say that it's got a problem because that placeholder doesn't exist on every page, but we don't care because that's we don't need it on every page. I wouldn't want it to play on my home page, for example. We can close this, and now that video is there. Once those are in place, typically pretty fast, you can actually go see it when you view it in incognito mode. We'll go test it and see. Oh, look at that already. So now you'll see, now you got a video ad. See how small the window is, but now it's running the ad. It's counting down as a pre-roll. And then once the pre-roll runs out, it's going to switch over to that video. But now you've got an, an ad impression for a video ad, which tend to pay pretty well. And now this is going to play in the background. It's not going to drive them crazy unless they want to see it. They can turn the volume on if they choose to. And they're going to just, it's going to keep playing as they're reading it. As you go down, you'll keep going, you'll keep going. If they get towards the very end of the content, what will happen is it'll pull itself back into its full player and you'll see that it would show any videos that are there in this in this listing right here so they could switch through themselves but that's how you get the ad in place and you get the ad to play for you and really in the end it's that easy when you build videos you just add them now to that video list and then you add them to that video playlist and you just continue to give options to play for users when they're visiting your content Hopefully that helps clear up how you can make a video ad.